So when's the last time you guys saw this movie? It's been a while, huh? I only told you on Monday to watch it again. It's not that bad, actually. Hey, guys, welcome back to the show. It's Black Sheep Rising. Uh, we're going to do a little uh, movie review real quick, like uh, the movie we decided to go with. The movie I decided to go with this week was Jumper. Um, Stop jumping. Because this guy over here uh, was making me laugh uh, with some uh, with some drops that he was uh, that he said with some audio clips that he said was actually in the movie. Guess what? They're not in. <laughs> they're not in the movie. I actually had to go through. All right. So here's what happened. Wait. There's a line from the Five Gum trailer that's definitely in that movie. Samuel L. The stop I went, jumping. I went. I actually downloaded the subtitles and put them in text format and put them in a notepad to see what was going on and did a search. What wasn't in there? The actual, uh, so here, so Garrett, a couple weeks ago, he's all like, um, what, what do you think you can jump forever? <laughs> and he went his Samuel L. Jackson voice, you think you can just jump forever? <laughs> it's really, it's really funny. And I was like, all right, let's find that. That's a, that'd make a perfect drop. Guess what? It doesn't exist. That that sound clip it doesn't work anywhere. So I it's actually kind of like it. So I started putting shit together, and this is one of the ones I came up with. You think you could go on jumping forever? <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell, let me, let me increase that volume a little bit. I actually took the uh, uh, Anakin and mixed with a uh, little. Uh, what was what was uh, Samuel's character in uh, Star Wars? Oh, Mace Windu. Mace Mace Windu. So I mixed. Ma so this is Mace Windu and Anakin. You think you could go on jumping forever? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, that's not gonna work. I get, I yeah. gotta get more, uh, I gotta get more Samuel in there. So I tried another one. You think you could jump forever? <laughs> no, nah, it's see, it's a, it doesn't work. It kind of works. You I could jump forever. Yeah, it sounded great. And then I, so I, all right, I'll try. Here's another one. You think you could jump forever? <laughs> Much better, but you can still, you can still hear that uh, inequality, that that difference in. You think you could jump forever? It actually sounds like something this guy would have put together when he bleeps out his... I hear a little horn honk in there or something. Yeah, something was, something was playing in the background when that happened. Uh, the best one, of course, is the... Uh, you think he can just jump all over the place? Jump, 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 jump. I think I like, I think I like that one the best. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, what is Jumper? Jumper is a... Uh, stars Anakin Skywalker and Mace Windu and some other guys. It's not in a galaxy far away or a long time ago. It's like mm -hmm. modern day... Anakin Skywalker is a regular guy. He doesn't know he's Anakin. Yeah, well, he, yeah, he, he finds he, that there's a special secret hidden power that holds itself within him. It, 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 he actually was able, uh, he actually found this ability through uh, pain and suffering. It was, uh, it was, it was how do you, what's the word for it? He was scared out of him uh, in such a way that he, there's a word for it. It's, I, it's not, I'm just not finding it. I'm not finding it. Anyways, he had a, he had an incident. Uh, he found that he had this power, and then he becomes this kind of a bad boy doing his little jumping. Jumping, he teleports places. As long as he has a picture or a memory of that place, mm -hmm. he can teleport to that uh, to that place again. And of course, he runs into uh, the bad guys, the Inquisitors, the Inquisitors, the uh, Spanish Inquisition. Uh, they call themselves Paladins. And the main paladin is, of course, uh, Mace Windu, Samuel, yeah. played by Samuel. He's got like white, he's got like a white fro thing going, and uh, he's, he, you know, we play a little clip real, real quick of uh, an actual incident they had yeah. real early on. You can tell he's a Jedi because they have white hair. Here comes Mace, come down the stairs. And who are you? My name's Roland. What are you doing in my apartment? Oh, we'll get to that. Is this where he says you could just jump forever? What kind of crook leaves a note? I uh, I think I need to talk to my lawyer. Uh, yeah, this is pieces of it no, came no, from no, this arrest. from this incident. I mean, not the Police? Anybody can. So of course Mace has been going all over town trying to track this guy down forever from an earlier incident when he actually robbed a bank. I mean, what if, you, if you're gonna if you have teleporting abilities, what are you gonna do with it? Of course he you know. You're not gets monies from wherever he. Uh, I see a lot of parallels between uh, Jumper being about jumping, The Shining being about shining, and Scatman Crothers' character is definitely fulfilled well by Samuel Jackson in this role. 
Yeah, are you comparing this wow. to The Shining? <laughs> so, all right. So, this is a comparison to The Shining. Is this also a cover up of the of the moon landing? Oh, I know who you of the Apollo moon sure, landing. Sure, this is how they really did it. They just jumped there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. With our with alien technology that we this got. Uh, up oh, there he goes. This conversation's not over. We got tased yeah, during uh, mid jump. <laughs> Samuel's a very violent guy. Yes, I don't know. I don't. Uses that taser much like a lightsaber. I'll yeah, like that's his lightsaber. Right? I don't know if he says motherfucker in this movie. This is this is like PG, right? Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. <laughs> so there, he's trying to actually jump to an image. He keeps a whole wall of nothing but pictures. So he has uh, a jump points. It was Scatman Cutters that showed the little boy how to shine in the movie. And so Samuel L. is like, you've broken the code. Like, you're not supposed to learn how to do it yourself. I was supposed to have taught you. So you, you, ruined, you ruined my life. You know, this is what I, I could be like. Uh, uh, I was supposed to train you. Like I know. <laughs> <laughs> and now Mortal Kombat's come into play. I was, supposed to, I was supposed to train you, and you were supposed to turn into a nasty piece of work and kill all the, the Jedis, all the baby Jedis. There are always consequences. <laughs> I think, I think that would be a good drop. I need to a good drop. Yeah, I need to work on that. Where are you going, huh? I got you now. Where are you, where are you going? Where are you, you think you could jump forever? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he jumped through a wall, but he's still connected to, uh... You hide behind a wall, go anywhere, do anything, not You think you can jump forever? All the right. walls are behind my hand. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. There are, um, there are a lot of incidents like that where the paladins are coming out and, you know, with their, uh, electric, electric, tro uh, electrodes and their, 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 uh, taser batons and, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty nasty, uh... Some pretty nasty characters. They're not someone I would want to run across. The Spanish Inquisition. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. And fucking Samuel L. walks out with his white hair. I guess my question of the whole movie was, what is it that Samuel L. wants Anakin to do? Or, as a Jedi, what does he want Anakin to do? Well, he keeps saying, he said it about three times, the reason that he's tracking these guys down is like, no one should have this power. You know, this God, this is godlike, and no one should have this power. So it's like the force, because this yeah, power, kinda, this power is like yeah, the force. Yeah, Star Wars is a lot like that. Like you know, the bad guys are the good guys and stuff, and they, they just went bad. Yeah, it's interesting that um, Mace Windu's in the dark side in this alternate universe of the Star Wars trilogy. Yeah, like uh, Anakin's now on the light side, and uh, Samuel is. You, you know, Sam actually, he's more. Uh, so not, Samuel Jackson, he's, he's not light. I wouldn't say he's light at all. In this, I say he's great. He's more Han Solo in this movie than, than light. That's true. I so mean, Samuel Jackson has taken up his more traditional ro role of, you know. So Star Wars is very unusual for Samuel, where, you know, he was like calm and he was like the the wise guy. Right. Samuel has gone to his more traditional role, of being the angry angry black man. <laughs> That's you know every film like Pulp Fiction. Think all the great. Yeah, I think all the great. Uh, <laughs> he's always an angry guy. Snakes on a plane is a good example. Right. He's an angry fed. So I'm glad that he's gone back to his role. Uh, let's face it. In Star Wars, Mace Windu, he just sucked in that role. Yeah, he was kind of sucky. Yeah, and even he tried to get mad like when he was like going to kill the Emperor. And then even then, it, it, I, I just couldn't feel it. You know what I mean? He wasn't angry enough. Well, it's like he was so calm that the angry scene didn't work at all. He should have been like... like I'm going to strike you down, motherfucker. <laughs> like, that would have made the movie, right. you know? That should have been it, and Anakin was dead, but it, it wasn't how And it then it would have got R rating, and the children would have hated it, and they wouldn't have that Jar Jar being crap going on. Yeah, well, that's you know the whole what? movie. Are there any motherfuckers in Star Wars? I don't think there are, but we could we could make you, our own motherfucker Star Wars That has version. Samuel L. saying motherfucker in it, because that would make it a real Samuel L. Jackson movie. Maybe we could take this movie and, like, uh, splice it up. With um, I think I've done splice this movie. First of all, I don't even like this uh, cut that I have. This edit, the volume is all shot the crap. We just tried to play it, and it was pretty pretty low there. Um, and I can tell my drops are kind of low, lowish. They're not as loud as they could be. You think he can just jump all over the place? Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the, uh, so do you guys I actually kind of watched it So I, I, I sat down and watched you this You kind of watched you it You kind of watched it That's cool <laughs> it took, well, I, it's, it, I watched the whole thing in three sittings um, 
and I had and I had actually seen it. I saw it about four years ago, or whenever it came out, when it came to Netflix for the first time. Wow! And uh, and I didn't realize that Anakin was in it. So that I watched it long enough ago that I didn't uh, even equate his character with Anakin Skywalker. So uh, what does that tell you? I guess it means mm. the first time I didn't even really watch it. Who knows? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Not like it. I mean, it had uh, it had some good points. I mean, I thought it was a decent movie. Um, he teams up with the the British dude at some point. No, yeah. you know what I'm talking about the guy who says jump, 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 jump. The um, I don't oh, know. Is that is that that, is that, that from that, the movie? Is yeah. that from the movie? It's from the movie. What, what do you think I got it from? <laughs> you think he can just jump all over the place? Jump, 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 jump. I, cu- I, I, I cut thought it. that was like Samuel or something. No, I cut it. I, yeah, I, 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 I pushed it together. I pushed it together a little. Did, did some creative uh, editing. Um, there was uh, another movie that came out uh, prior on the same time as this one came out. It was a found footage some found, uh, of teenagers who found this power. There was a meteorite, and they all, and they all there's three of them. They all had these abilities to like uh, fly Crap. out, and they, they had uh, telekinesis and whatnot, and one of them went bad. And I really like Watchmen. Liked, the, is it that's what it's called? No, not Watchmen. That's a friggin' comic I, book I movie. I know what you're talking about. I cannot place the name though. Maybe I'll remember to put that in the show notes. Uh, very. I like that one. It, and I and I usually don't like the found footage type movies because it's they're all they're really. I don't know. They're not very. Sometimes they're not very pleasant to watch. They're all shaky and. Um, but this one was very very creatively put together. Um, and of course, it uh, highlights these these teenagers going through this this evolution where they get this power and uh and of course they alienate themselves uh from the out from from their their peers and of course they have so the, and of course they have their own drama it's disappointing what? that they use that power to alienate instead of build community what is the moral message of the jumper movie if any is there an underlying message to it stop jumping like that's is a good, is that's a like good the, point that's that is might it, be is something it like the uh, desire to like everyone wants to have superpowers, right? They, they everyone will, wants, to be everyone wants some magic. Everyone wants to have, you know, have that, and the ability to rob banks, and to and to be on and to live on be on vacation forever and ever. It's rob not a ba- robbery. It's it's thievery from banks. Oh, so th- this. Oh, he, no, he left IOUs. He left a note, and that's what. Uh, so this represents would be a violent confrontation. Uh, the ideal of life for most people. Like a permanent vacation, not working, just a permanent vacation, just jumping with hot girls. Actually, and by the way, I didn't like the 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 uh, co act the actress in this one. I didn't she, something about it. It was unpleasant. But I mean, so yeah, nice hot female uh, friends, vacation forever, and of course, magic powers. I mean, you, well, uh, it's a winning combination. It's was wi- Samuel Jackson mad at him for stealing from the bank, or was he just mad at him from jumping? Because that's what I didn't get. It seemed like. Samuel L. was just mad that he was jumping. He, he was mad, mad because was no one should have this power. That's what he said. All right, quote, so if he quote, just no jumps, one should have this power. If he just jumps to I'm gonna evade kill you now. paying air travel fees, he just jumps to Jamaica, has a vacation, and jumps back. Should anyone care? I don't think they should. I think that should be totally there's cool. Sam- like, Samuel was um, jealous. There's some kind of like Christian... Like I, I got the feeling when I watched the movie that it was like somehow related to Christianity. Yeah, it's like it's not about what you're doing being wrong. It's about the fact that you shouldn't be doing the thing that enables you to do the thing that's wrong. And it's like, well, what, what's what's like wrong? There's with a that worldwide thing? organization dedicated to tracking down these people who jump. You know, you know how like, I what, see it. What is the a point central of this? authority? So, so I don't know who is I don't know who is promoting this movie, but I see it as the authority, the the the, the, the powers that be. Uh, detaining the people's freedom to 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 be free and to jump and to and to go and to live their maybe, lives maybe however they a, want. Maybe there's an element. No one should no one should have that power to be free. Maybe there's an element of communism in this too. In that, uh, so this guy is rich, and of course he's stolen his wealth. So maybe he's not rich through legitimate means. But the commies might say that if you're a capitalist and you're successful and you start up a business and you can live the rest of your life on vacation because of this one thing that you did that was great. Maybe there's like a, we have to put you in your place. So maybe there's like a communist underlying element there. I don't know about that. You think, you think so? Or is that a stretch? I, I kind of uh, have I think, to totally I think it's the, I think it's the yeah, authority yeah, figures uh, detaining freedom, <laughs> preventing, preventing the people from having the freedom. And of course, the guy wins in the end, kind of. There's kind of a little bit of a twist at the end. Because there's still paladins out there. There's still there are still authority figures, and they might even be related to you. 
who are trying to prevent their own spawn, their own children, from actually being able to partake in the freedom. Maybe it's like a whole like uh, coming out kind of thing where it's like Anakin is is gay and he doesn't want his <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want his family to know, and then his family finds out. And Samuel oh. L. represents is he Samuel L. representing like the new way, or is he representing the old culture that's trying? Samuel L. Jackson is like the the preacher who's trying to beat the gayness out of. <laughs> of course, and around here we just don't. Nobody will ever oppress you here. We don't do that around here. So yeah, maybe there's like a undertone of, uh, I guess it's not homophobic, but we'll be anti-gay. Jumpophobic. <laughs> yes. They don't like jumping. And I don't know why. I don't see what's wrong with jumping at all, as long as it's sustainable. I see it as a free man. I, mean, I guess you can't just jump forever. It's interesting, too, that the jumpers in the movie are younger people, and then the people who want to control their older people. Uh-huh. I think there's they a lost point. their ability to jump, and then they're mad at the youth that still can. You, now that's a good. Now that's a good possibility. So, all right, so should I tell the twist? All right, so if yeah, you guys, spoiler alert, right, right, so you're gonna you, ruin the movie. I probably didn't get that far in the movie. So yeah, if you ahead. haven't seen the the movie, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put out a twist uh, spoiler for you. Samuel L. used to be a jumper. Well, no, that's not actually in the movie. Uh, that would the, be interesting. The, the Anakin's mother we used to be a jumper. Well, no, I, that's not actually that's not actually made clear in the movie. She's a paladin. She's an anti-jumper. She's an anti-jumper, an anti. and her son is a jumper. The question, so it's in. So it'd be so kind of like the no be, time for that Tyrese. No, it's drop no, right it's there. it'd be like the Pope's son. Well, I guess he can't have a son, but it'd be like if the Pope had a son and he was gay. No, I mean it's in it's in the genes. Oh crap. It's in the genes, so maybe she started out as a jumper, and when she lost her ability, she was jealous of all the jumpers. No one should have this power, especially when I lost my ability when I was twenty-five or whatever. She so now she saved the money, man. Exactly. Or maybe she was always a paladin. Put it on maybe she was always a paladin, and you know, as fate you know usually works, as the you know the hand of God laying down some old fate for that. Uh, you know. It's a whole it's a whole child rebelling against parent thing here oh. where they're doing the exact opposite just to piss their parents off. So oh, you're an authority figure? I'm going to do I'm going to be in the exact opposite. I'm going to jump and I'm going to live like a crazy no, anarchist. No, I think I remember in the movie it's like the the jumper gene skips generations. I don't remember that or being it's said. It's like a one-off, one-on, one-off kind of deal. I don't remember that conversation, but that's it's possible that it happened. But yeah, I think there's definitely an underlying theme of like the old versus the young. So there's people the, that are the free versus the, life the free and, and versus the authority figures. Life. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, I remember there was like a deleted scene from this movie where you see the jumper jump into the car in Pulp Fiction uh, right before the Marvin scene. And John Travolta, it turns out, never was holding the gun. It was uh, Anakin. <laughs> he jumped into the car. <laughs> <laughs> and he shot Marvin in the face. What are you making this up, or is this someone? Some put no, this together? No, it's a deleted scene from the Jumper movie. If you buy the DVD, you could probably see it. And uh, <laughs> that's why Samuel L. was tracking him down the whole movie. He's like, "You killed Marvin." <laughs> <laughs> you're just making crap. Up. Oh crap! I think you you're onto something there. Do you even listen to all that weird crap you say? <laughs> that's why Samuel L. was all like, "This was an act of God. I don't understand it." It's like he went on, and through time, he came to understand it. He grew white hair. And then he's like, I gotta stop Anakin from jumping in the future into the past. Oh Shoot my God, Marvin no in the way. face. So, um, no way. in Pulp Fiction, um, what, what's the guy's name? Which one? The Samuel L. Guy. Jules. Jules. Yeah, so Jules becomes like a Christian. So I guess this is like the natural progression. But like a friggin' inquisitor. He's gonna walk mm -hmm. the earth, yeah. Like a, like a, a Catholic inquisitor. You know, and he's probably got his. Uh, it's amazing that they'd had this group of people that even care about the jumpers. Yeah, he, yeah, he's. Uh, so Why is everyone so pissed off about the I damn guess I jumping? See, yeah, the question I is. I guess I can see if they're stealing money from the banks. I mean, yeah, where are they making their Where are they making their money? That. Who's he paying? Who about is that. paying these guys? Where are they make their money from? They probably stole from the jumper people, who stole from the banks. It's all a Ponzi scheme. The, uh, Illuminati, man. Illuminati's paying for it all. The jumpers, I know what it is. The jumpers represent the proletariat. The, yes, uh, the Jedi represent the bourgeoisie exploiter class. There, there's a communist element where you can't have one person with more abilities than someone else. There's some, it's almost you have an enforcement class. That, all right, now I, now I get your, 
your your commie the, the, the pulls, your commie link. That makes that makes sense. Pulls you down to the, everyone. The else Jedi's still. are like the NKVD. So what what did they do when they when they captured the jumpers? Like, wouldn't it be better if Samuel L. just like showed up the dude's apartment and put a bullet in him? Then no, it should have been 1984. You should have been strapped down with your eyes open, and you should learn that. Well, what do four, they do? What do they do with the jumpers when they capture two plus two equals five? Uh, slow torture. It, this, I don't think he can jump when he's on the scorpion chain. Yeah, but what, what? No, but what do they do when they capture him? They, they killed him on the scorpion chain. They can't jump. Okay, off why that. not just put a bullet in him? That doesn't make any sense. This is a PG. He knifed movie. him. He has a special sacrificial knife. Remember, he unwraps it every time. It's all wrapped up in a cloak. Or I don't a think I watched that far into the movie. Mm. Yeah, so he see he was, uh, so was like cer- he ceremoni- was kill him. ceremoniously killing them. So Mace Windu was gonna kill Anakin. He had yeah, it was a couple of opp- there was a he missed a couple opportunities to do just that. Oh, oh crap! No, exactly. Um, so I, where were we going with that? Well, Kami Kami is great. It's it's a fairly philosophical and deep movie. There's a lot going on there. It has a lot of deeper meaning. Yeah, obviously we've turned it into some deeper meaning. It might not be as obvious. <laughs> it probably would help not to be completely baked out of your mind whenever you're watching it and actually kind of watch it sober. <laughs> I'm sure English classes in government schools will be analyzing this for years to come. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny Groovy. if you know, that turns out to be the case. Oh, shit. Wouldn't you rather watch this than read Shakespeare? Oh, hell yeah. I really was not a fan of Shakespeare, to be honest. So, so. there you go. That's all, all I'm saying is uh, movies and television have brought us all down culturally to lowest common denominator and made us all retarded. <laughs> so you might as well enjoy it. <laughs> like crap. Shakespeare guy. Aha, crap. That is too complicated. Oh. This yeah. is actually like yeah, I mean, crap. Sh- you know, prime example. Pulp Fiction would be a great show to play uh, to the to the fourteen year olds. It you is know? a modern classic. Yeah. I, I think that you could you could learn about like themes and motifs and how to analyze underlying themes and how to Why well, don't there's too much rhyming in Pulp Fiction? Or in jump. There's a lot of songs. There's a lot of good. Um, I mean, just a class on studying the songs that were played, you know, during during events and how they symbolized. Like, look, how at they, how scene, how they look at this scene with Samuel like beaten into the wall. That symbolizes so much. You yeah, could write a whole paper. Uh, it reminds about it. me of the battle between John Linguizamo and Leonardo DiCaprio in Romeo and Juliet. So Samuel thinks he's representing the light, but he's actually being destructive in this scene. Look how violent he is. <laughs> then I just look violent, Jesus. Now let me ask you another thing. All right, so let's go back to old Star Wars. Let's go. Let's take the uh, the whole uh, representing the most evil man on the planet or in the universe as a, uh, by a black man by using a black man. Do you well, think when they took off the mask? He was a white guy. Yeah, but he was really a. Everyone knew that he was a black guy. With a cool, sexy voice. I do agree that it is all about who does the voice because in the new Galaxy Guardians movie, I don't know who actually plays the tree. I just know that Vic Diesel does the voice, and everyone knows that Vic Diesel. And does the raccoon the voice. is voiced by some comedian guy. Mm. Nobody knows who actually plays the raccoon. Like it's all about the voice. Yeah. Of the raccoon. But I mean, do you think that has any meaning in this movie? Where they actually, well, I mean, Samuel is a badass guy, and I, I guess he fit the role. But he's also a black man, and of course, Anakin is a very white from New England type guy um, and everyone else is white too and he's they're being oppressed by this black guy yeah I find that very propagandistic on the part of Hollywood to explain if it even if it even means anything if there's any if there's any deeper meaning maybe it's just you know the actors they pulled I mean what well, what would happen if the if a black guy I mean there was no black jumpers what if the main character was a black jumper would it have would it have different meaning and it's uh, William Dafoe who's hunting down up some black guy who uh, what, what, Tyrese is the jumper Mm. And William Defoe is hunting him down, and he's the maniacal uh, inquisitor trying yeah. to trying to hold m- that. See, now Nobody that would, would now that would be a that. whole different twist that uh, people would take the wrong way. Sure, I think they would have to been the same color. I'm thinking of the parallels now between uh, that sort of dynamic of the authority figure and the the person they're claiming to protect. Uh, if you remember that scene in Boys from the Hood where somebody tries to break into Lawrence Fishburne's house, Cuba Gooding Jr. is his son, uh-huh. and you know he shoots at the guy and he gets away, and then the cops show up, and the cop is a black guy too, and he makes racist comments about young black youth, um, and how, oh, well, you should have just killed the guy, and 
Um, so yeah, I see, I kind of see reflections of it, how that would have played differently if if you did say the cast was differently um, for a jumper. Now Anakin represents a very privileged person. Um, Samuel L. We assume uh, rose up from from what? Like where? What is Samuel's background in this film? Like I don't presume he was someone of privilege. I get the impression that he was a warrior type. He said to fight his whole life. He dresses pretty snazzy. He's got kind of a un- he's got kind of a real. Sh- uh, almost a uh, uh, almost, almost an Asian. The night thing it's got kind on. of an Asian uh, suit on, with a high collar and uh, looks, pretty, looks pretty snazzy. I wouldn't mind having something like that mm. for um, for dinner. Dinners at Applebee's every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever my dates don't want to have Netflix on the first date, I have to take them out to eat. Yeah, I'll have my. You're uh, in a movie. <laughs> fuck the movie. So movie. what's the uh, the verdict on this movie? I say I say watch it. I say actually don't spend a lot of money on it. Don't buy the the ten dollar DVD at Walmart. Get it on Netflix when it comes. It'll probably be on Netflix one day. I would advise people to torrent this. Yeah, film. just download it. Don't don't do this. give. I w- don't even use. Netflix. Don't give Anakin Skywalker. If you use Netflix, money. what you're telling them is that it's worth the little count, the view count, saying that you want to watch this movie according to Hollywood's contracts. Don't even pay attention to the contracts. F the Hollywood contracts. Just download the movie illegally if you're going to download it. And understand that, I mean, we may vote that five bags of popcorn, but that doesn't mean it's any good. <laughs> it's kind of, it, to be honest, I think it's pretty shitty. Yeah, but people... Oh, crap! People won't you make movies it. if you don't pay for them. Yeah, I, I know. I like to, you they know... won't make this movie. <laughs> oh, you guys are horrible. All right, guys at home, thanks for watching uh, part two of episode 64 of Black Sheep Rising. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed. If you uh, would like us to review a movie that you like and maybe we can get behind, uh, go ahead and leave that in the Facebook comments. So I have our next movie. Uh, we should do 32 hours, 7 minutes. I don't know what that is. You want me to pull up a trailer so we can end it? Okay, with the yeah, well... Future? well I would just advise people to jump in, in civil disobedience and defiance of these diktats. Yeah, live your life free. Uh, Fart. Samuel L. Jackson wearing a suit. I mean, respect to Samuel L., but to be honest, like, just keep jumping. Fart. Yeah, his character in this movie, uh, be free and uh, live your life. Don't hurt other people. Don't rob banks. But Steal jump. But, from banks. Yeah, but either. jump, jump, jump. Uh, Happy birthday, Obama! Tomorrow, fifty-four or something. You just jump all over the place! Jump, 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 jump. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, James, I guess we'll talk about this afterwards. Everyone home, we'll see you next week at the same time. Good night. That is not Ninja Turtles. That is straight up Ninja Turtles back there. That is not Ninja Turtles. I actually... It's not the Ninja Turtles that I know and love. It's some garbage. Have you seen the uh, comparisons? So anyways, it's a lot, of, a lot of creative people have gotten, gotten on there and done their own uh, comparison shots, before and after shots. And that's it's not good strike. at all. That's C- not good at all. Comparison to what? To the old Turtles. Look. Look how happy they are. They're fun people to be around. But these new things, they look angry. They're, they're discontent. Well, well here's, here's the way Which I see it. Which one's the so, new one, the so ugly one? This is the Michael Bay BS. The, the biggest comparisons are... Profanity. Here's, here's the... J, J, James, just look at it, man. All right, so the old ones had uh, f- big round noses, and they had... And they had turtle mouths, like beaks. Mm-hmm. Whereas the new ones have, have like lips. human noses, but they have human lips. So they like he like switched them. I remember a line from the cartoon back in the day about them not having lips. Michael Bay just had to do it. He had to take their lips off. He had to give them lips. <laughs> Why is he it giving a turtle lips? What is this? Have y'all any interest in discussing the controversy as to whether G or Jazzy is the number one dog activist in Keen? I wouldn't mind. I don't. Uh, I don't think G really cares. I think Jazzy might might ha- have a play in that game.